Moving on in the East, the fourth seed, Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by senior captain Jordan Taylor. Is there still an anxiety level in anticipation of Selection Sunday? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's just fun uh, every year seeing where you're going to go and who you're going to play. And, um, you know, yeah, got a four seed this year, so it'll, it'll be fun. So what was your reaction to seeing Montana opposite you? Um, you know, mine was really... I, <laughs> the same as always. I mean, I, I saw I turned around and looked at Sharif, and he was pretty excited because I know Freddie's there. So, but yeah, it'll be fun. Freddie Owens, former Badger player. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, uh, you know, I, I've met Freddie a few times, and obviously you know him because he hit that shot against uh, against Tulsa, I think it was from the corner. So, and, you know, it always it's uh, kind of on the highlight tapes every time you you see the Badger stuff. And but other than that, you know, I don't know much about Montana. Does this mean more to you because you're a senior? Uh, yeah, you know, it's the last time around, and you know, it's one and done. Every game could be your last, so. What do you think some of the keys are when you get into tournament play uh, based on your experience level? Um, you know, just kind of you can't get lost in, in kind of the fray or the, I shouldn't say the fray, more the, the hoopla of everything. You just got to stick to stick to what you've been doing uh, to be successful all year and, you know, things that we've done to, that are positive all year, we have to do those and try and uh, take away the things that, are, that we've been doing that have been more negatives. You bring any momentum into this? You played well at the end of the year. Uh, yeah, you know we've been we felt like we played well. We obviously lost to a, a really good Michigan State team, the number one seed, the number one seed. So, um, I mean that three of our nine losses are are to them, and you know it's uh it's I mean obviously games that we felt like we could have won, but you know we felt like we're uh, pretty battle tested for the tournament and ready to go and face anybody we see. Joining me now, Mike Brusewitz. What was the first thing that came to mind when you saw Montana? on the line in your bracket? Um, you know, they're a good team. You know, I've seen them a couple times uh, just watching games, you know. Um, so it'll, it'll be a good matchup. and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this is a time of year where it, it, you bring a different mentality uh, across the board, don't you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, when, when you get into tournaments, um, you know, it's kind of the same thing as a preseason tournament. You know, you go in and uh, it's quite a bit different than, um, you know, the Big Ten tournament we just got done from is, is you don't see the same teams every year. You know, when you get into Big Ten play, you, you kind of know what to expect when you play that team. Um, you know, certain teams have certain tendencies, kind of know the offense a little bit as you, as you, you know, grow accustomed to it. But uh, tournaments like this, you know, it's, it's kind of a crapshoot and you go, okay, well, we got a couple days here to figure out what they run, what they like to do, tendencies, everything like that. And, um, so you got to come with a little bit different mindset of, all right, we got to try and learn as quickly as possible, you know, kind of learn on the fly. And guys who have been through it before can kind of lead the younger players, can't they? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, uh, it's an exciting time. You know, growing up, a lot of the younger guys, you know, myself included, we all watched the tournament. May or may not have skipped a couple of days of school to watch the first couple of rounds, you know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's an exciting time. It's going to be really fun. Good luck, Mike. Thanks. The Badgers have some NC2A tournament history with Albuquerque in 2000. They used the pit the famous arena there as a springboard to the Final Four. We'll see if there's still some karma left over. For UWBadgers.com, I'm Mike Lucas.